we're here to show you the arm movement to that little section of your slow style. And once we're done with that, you've got your whole routine. So let's do it. Right, so you've finished in what I call an aeroplane position, because you do, you look like an aeroplane. Back flat, got a pointed toe, your fingers are closed, and you're stretching back, and your head is up. From here, you're stepping forward with your right foot. You're going to throw your arms down as if they're heavy. Okay, so we step forward, throw them down, and you're going to make sure that your foot is straight <laughs> and that your arms are up. So in other words, we want to see a full front picture before you turn. What people tend to do here is they tend to just go, and we're turning. So they do the turn and the picture at the same time. We want the picture, and then we want the turn. So from here, ready, and picture, and turn, drop your arms down, transfer your weight, and go again, and throw the arms down and up, picture, you see what I mean, eh? easy to cheat, picture, and turn. Okay, should we do that again? I want a picture first. We want a picture first. Okay, so here we go. Five, we're here. Five, six, seven, and picture, and turn. And picture, and turn. Stepping to the side, you're going to grab as if there's a piece of rope. You're going to grab it, and as you grab it, you're going to wind your hand in so that you finish with your fingers on top and your fist. So it's round and in. You can, of course, give shape with your elbow. That's absolutely fine. So from here... There we go. And do you see how nicely, even though we're not doing feet right now, do you see how nicely Zandale pushes herself to the side so she's getting danced through the body and then extend into the arm and out. So do that again for them, please, Zandale. So go and there, grab and pull, and grab and pull. Very nice. Turn to the side. Here again, it's your hands are heavy, but now as they go up, Make sure that they don't, you don't forget about the energy in your fingertips. So from the heavy, and your chest will go up with your arms. So touch the floor, touch the side walls, and touch the ceiling, and you're going to end up in your fifth position, which is this above your, your head, and your palms are facing one another. It's not a true ballet fifth position, if you guys have ballet knowledge. It's your hands are up straight to the ceiling. So from here, we'll to the side, drop the hands down, one, two, three, turn around four. That's it, arms stay up, okay? And now, as you go down, you're gonna bring your arms down, let's just do it, and down, 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 boom. But I'm gonna be mean this time. Zandale is gonna do it again, and she has to push past my strength. So, are you ready? Face me. Toe up. Five, six, seven, go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that is using that is using the strength. So let's go right down here. Let's do it again. So you're gonna have a nice arm workout. Where's your biceps? And we go and go side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you don't physically have someone standing there holding your arms when you dance it, but it's about having an image in your head. And the difference it makes, it makes your arms look strong, it places your arms correctly, and well, we use our muscles because, hey, that's what muscles are for. Some teenagers around today, um, I don't know if they know what some muscles are for, but that's just my, that's my teaching thing. Okay, so let's go without me holding your arms. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Vast improvement to the first time she did it, and all we did was just make her use her muscles. Look at that. Magic. So let's count it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, turn two, three, turn four, grab five and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, turn four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Let's try it with some music. Sandale is going to dance the arms with some music. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Should we count it? Let's count it. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. And 
Well done, everybody.